Bernie. I mean, come on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That is very cool. I haven't, you know, I don't come here too often, so every time I come here, I get a chance to see that. I was like, is that really me? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's great. You put on the pinstripe jersey today, but do you remember that first time that you put on the pinstripes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was, uh, it was bad day at Yankee Stadium. Uh, I remember it was a Sunday. We were playing the uh, Orioles. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I remember, I think it was Jeff Ballard, the pitcher. Uh, you know, and uh, I did my uh, my first hit was off of uh, Greg Olson, the closer. Infield hit through, like, Billy Ricken and, I don't know, the first baseman. It was a great day uh, for me. And then after that, we went into a 10-day uh, road trip to the West Coast. So uh, it was it was long, but uh, I, I do remember it. What did you like most about being a Yankee? Um, you have to, uh, you ha I kind of have to tackle this question and, you know, depending on the year that I'm playing. Uh, the great thing about being a Yankee back when I started playing was that I was in the big leagues. <laughs> uh, then as I got older, I started understanding the tradition of excellence that the team has exemplified, you know, over a century. And then I started getting a little nervous because I was playing the same position that Mickey Mantle played in, the same position that Mickey Rivers and Joe DiMaggio and all those guys. Uh, and then as I got older, I started feeling, you know, proud of the legacy and then the run that we had, you know, the teams of the 90s. Uh, and uh, very happy to be part of that, that, that group of clowns, you know, that sort of make this great run. And uh, is it the latest uh, successful run that we have had in a while? I see Tino here today, but how much do you talk to some of the other guys like Pettit, like O'Neill, like Jeter? Yeah, I talk to them uh, uh, quite frequently, as frequently as I can. I know everybody's busy, you know, with their lives, you know, being uh, some of these guys are grandfathers now. And <laughs> like, oh, wow, this is great. I had uh, lunch with, uh, with Tino actually in Tampa a couple of weeks ago. We were able to reconnect, you know, after a long time. I think COVID has really uh, taken a toll in, in our ability to reconnect on, on a personal level. Uh, but uh, we, we're getting all that back, and I'm glad that this day uh, is happening, even though uh, in a limited fashion. But uh, it's good to see the guys again. When you look at this year's Yankees teams, a lot of them are comparing them to teams that, that you played on. What's your impression of what this year's team has been able to do so far? Well, I kind of... Uh, Try to tend to put myself uh, at this point in the year uh, in 1998, and I would have I definitely have the same emotions and the same feelings that these guys are having right now. You know, coming to the stadium, any park, anywhere, you know, this year having, you know. Uh, thinking that they can win every game that they, they play. That's the same way that we felt in 1998 going through this run. Uh, and it's just a great feeling to be in the clubhouse, you know, uh, with that kind of mentality. Everybody that comes in uh, into the team, you know, whether it's uh, bringing from the minor leagues or coming in from another organization, coming in thinking that, you know, they're the winner, they're having an opportunity to have a great year and they're going to be part of it. It's just no better time to be at uh, this time of the year for these guys. And I totally can totally relate to that.